Hey guys, it's Katie Did here, and I am back with another demo video for you guys. So I reached out to the Stadler company, and they sent us this 10-pack of double-ended markers. These are watercolor markers. So like I said, there are 10 in here. They are intense dye-based ink mixed with water for beautiful watercolor effects. Durable foam brush will not tear or fray after intended use for illustration, detail work, manga, and expressive lettering. Uh, then it has instructions on how to make this parrot. So that is what the package says about these markers. So let's open it up and see what they look like. All right, so I'm just gonna grab purple, or what I think is purple. So this is what the barrel of the marker looks like. It says Stadler Mars Graphic 3000 Duo. And then it says the color name on the back. This is dark mauve. Here is the brush tip. And here is the chisel tip. Now as far as I know, these are not refillable, but these are watercolor markers, so you can use these and then use water over them to kind of blend them out and to make a watercolor effect. And we'll be testing that out right now, actually. One note as I'm taking these out, oh, they're actually stuck in there pretty well. They're packaged very nicely. They have this to keep them secure inside the packaging, and they have this very nice outer casing. So I really like how they package this. So as I showed you before, here is the barrel, and I'm gonna be showing you how the different tips write. So, for the small tip, I don't know if you can see that, but for the small tip, this one writes just kind of normal. It's got a thin line, or thinner than the brush tip. I'm just making random doodles. And for the brush tip, you can get different kind of line widths. If you hold it straight up, you can get a center line, and you can get a thicker line. Different line variations. So now I'm going to swatch these, and I'm going to do one in real time, and then I'm going to speed the rest of them up, just because once you've seen one, you've kind of seen them all. So let's get into it. All right, so the first one I'm going to be testing is red. Now, here are all the swatches, all done, and I don't know if you can see that, I don't know if it's all shiny for you or not, but I'll move it around so you can see it. And excuse that, that had a back run because I wasn't paying attention and I got a little too close to the light blue. But anyway, let's get into an illustration and see how these markers work in a final finished piece. And another thing you can do that I didn't mention uh, is that you can take two tips from different colors and you can actually touch them together for just a little bit like so and then you can use them and you can get a gradient effect out of it got a gradient from red to yellow just by using one marker that you touched with this one. And then to clean it off you just kind of wipe your brush. Now we can get into the illustration. Okie doke, so here are some things that I learned while using these. So they're definitely best when you use with cold press paper. Um, I tried it with hot press at first and I actually thought that I was going to give these a not so great review because the fact that I could not get them to water, like I couldn't get them to dissolve a little bit with the water, 
it would just stay on the paper, but that was just because of the paper. I tried cold press and it worked just fine, but hot press will leave marks, so just be warned. They have super vivid color. I'm not even kidding you. Just straight out of the marker, they're really, really vivid, really pigmented. They blend pretty well together, and the tips feel really sturdy. Like, I don't feel like they're gonna, like, flake. I don't... I've had a tip flake, and it gets really weird, but it doesn't feel like they're gonna do that. And they're really juicy. You can see it as you mark with it. They're very juicy markers. They're actually, to me, I own Tombow markers, and I have to say these are better than Tombow markers, which is kind of sad because you can hardly find these anymore, and these are really good quality. I said already they're non-refillable, which is kind of stinky, but, I mean, they're really good marker, so I wouldn't pass these up if that's what you're into. They do not reconstitute when dry. I've tried it. You cannot lift. You can't try to reconstitute them. It just doesn't happen. Like I said, they come in 10 color packs. Um, I think they actually, if you go on eBay or somewhere like that, they sell them in more colors than this. But as far as I can tell on the Stadler website, they only sell the 10 packs. They can be colored onto a smooth surface such as plastic and also used like picked up with a paintbrush. They mix well that way and you can create more colors. Um, that's how I did a lot of this picture. Uh, by the way, this is my character Raisha and she's holding her scythe because that is her weapon of choice. Anywho, I really had fun using these markers. They're the best watercolor markers I think I've used in a long time. Like I said, they do not compare to Tombow. They are so much better than Tombow markers, but that's just personal opinion. And all opinions in this video are my own. I am not being paid or sponsored by this. I did get these sent to me for free, but every opinion is my own. If I didn't like it, you'd be the first to know. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out a lot. Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see reviewed next. You can follow me on DeviantArt page, your world Twitter, and Instagram. All of my links are down in the description below. And don't forget to join our cute little artist family. I put out a new video every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and two new videos each on Tuesday and Friday a month. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!